hello students i hope you have enjoyed my last lecture on applet today i will illustrate how an event handling done in java first of all click on netbeans id software by clicking on netbeans id software you will get a programming interface like this then click on file click on new project select java application click on next by default name is java application 29 you can also change the name for example we can take as ims event disable the main class as you know applet does not contain main method click on finish button then right click on ims event application click on new applet and click on finish here we will do event handling program on applet by default java.applet package is imported you have to import another package java.awt for graphics purpose and one more package java dot event java dot awt dot event package for event handling purpose you have to write here implements action listener as you know event is simply user interaction with the program and in this program we will perform event handling on the button button is a source of event and when we click on button it generate action event and action event is listened by the action listener interface then take object of text field as text field t and take object of button as button b then give the memory space to text field by writing t is equal to new text field and by giving size as 10 similarly for button b is equal to new button give the name of button as a label for example click me then add the component text field to the applet by using add method again add the button to the applet add method is simply used to add components to the container here text field and button are components and applet is a container then as you know we have to perform event handling on the button so we have to register this button object using add action listener by giving this as a argument this is used for current object now this button is registered with the action listener interface next we have to override action perform method available in the action listener interface by writing public void action perform by giving argument 
action event ke as you know button always generate action event here we will write the code which will be performed on the clicking of button here we will write t dot set text welcome to ims family when we click on the button we will get a text message welcome to ims family on text field t let's run this program by clicking on run file you can see output window on left hand side where a text field is added a button is added with name click me now as i already said when we click on this button we will get a message welcome to ims family let's click the button yeah the welcome to ims family is not display here because the size of text field is small you can change the size of text field as 20 and then right click run file you can see after clicking on the click me button you will get the entire message on welcome to ims family this is how an event handling done using button you can also perform arithmetic operation addition subtraction multiplication and division by using applet and event handling for example let's see another source code this where we import three packages java.applet java.awt and again java.awt.event we have taken button and handling so that we have to write implement action listener we have taken here three object of text field three objects of label and four objects of button give the name of label 1 first number second number and third is label name result give the size for text field t1 t2 and t3 again create four buttons using b1 b2 b3 b4 by giving the name plus minus multi star and division add all the components first add label then text field then label then text field the components are arranged in the same order in which you have add in the program and lastly you have to register all the buttons because we are we are performing event handling on the buttons then next override the action perform method here we take three variable a b c now we have to read text from text field for this purpose we will use get text method this t1 dot get text method provide the value on text field 1 similarly t2 dot get text method provide the value on text field 2 by default value of text field is a string so you have to convert this string value into the integer value by using the integer dot parse int method then to identify which button is clicked you have to use get source method get source method tells which button is clicked suppose if button b1 is clicked we have to write here code get source is equal to b1 then arithmetic operation addition is performed again if good source is equal to b2 then subtraction is performed if get source is equal to b3 then multiplication is performed and if get source is equal to b4 division will be performed again c is here in integer form 
and as you know default value of text field is a string so again for writing this c value on the text field t3 we have to convert this integer value again into the string by using the string dot value of method then this integer value of c converted into the string value and write into text field 3 let's run this program by right click on run file you can see the output window on left hand side where level first number text field second number text field level 3 result text field all the four buttons let's give the value 10 second number is 5 by clicking on plus button we will get the result is 15 by clicking on minus button you will get the result 5 by clicking on multiplication button we will get result as 50 and by clicking on division button you will get result 2 this is how arithmetic operations will be performed in java using the applet and event handling program hope you are practicing more on this event handling best of luck students